Nós estamos aqui no Café Aquários, um lugar onde a arpista norte-americana Bridget Kibbe se identificou bastante nesse período que ela está aqui para o Festival Internacional Sesc de Música. Bridget, uh, you played last Monday here, right? Yes. So, uh, what's your first impressions about the city, uh, about people here in Pelotas? What are your thoughts so far? Well, I'm so glad, Igor, that you wanted to meet here at Cafe Aquarius because this has been the center of my social life here in Pelotas. <laughs> and I've been so thrilled that, that the locals here have been so warm, open-hearted and friendly. And most especially at the concert I played on Monday, there was a real hunger, I thought, for culture and for music. And they were so appreciative at the, at the Biblioteca, um, at the, the library. So I was really thrilled yeah. to meet so many locals and they're fun people and you all party hard here in Pelotas. <laughs> <laughs> Bridget, uh, tell me, uh, why do you develop such a this, this connection with Café? What happened here <laughs> that you enjoyed it so much? Well, here at Café Aquarius, you have a lot of the locals meeting to spend an hour to enjoy each other. And I was really surprised. I've come with different members of the faculty with my friends here, but I've also come on my own to do some email because there's free Wi-Fi. And I'm so shocked um, that every time the locals come up and they want to talk. They can tell I'm American because I'm not speaking Portuguese. And they've been so friendly and dialoguing about American life or what I think of Pelotas. And they want to know if I like their city. So there seems to be a real pride of Pelotas here in, the, in town. And Bridget, at what age did you actually get in touch with music for the first time? Was the hype your first instrument? That's a great question, Igor. I actually started on the piano. My parents were very lovely and sacrificial and insisting that all three of us kids, I have two brothers and sisters, um, that we all play music. And so we all started piano lessons at a very young age. But when I was nine years old, I first saw the harp in church in Ohio, where I grew up in America. And I was fascinated with the way the instrument looked, let alone the way the harpist looked as she was playing and sounded. So I was really drawn to the harp at the age of nine. Any goal that you still want to achieve? What's your main goal in your musical career? I think my dream is to be at ease at the harp, that it can really be almost like a muse for depicting music from different cultures around the world. So for me to be in Brazil, Brazilian popular music and traditional music is one of my loves. So it's really fun to get to encounter the coro and espanhol here at Liberdade and other such places. So I think one of my dreams would be to use the harp to depict a lot of these different world cultures and so that's what I'm interested in. And when you're when you're at home at Ohio, when you're not when you're not thinking about work, what kind of music do you like to <laughs> to, to, to listen? What kind, what type of music do you enjoy? I love jazz, anything with plucked strings. So in the US uh, I really love bluegrass and music of Appalachia. I love Celtic music. There's actually a Scottish group and a Scottish harpist I like to listen to, Catriona McKay. Um, again, I love the Assad brothers. And then anything that's jazz oriented, I tend to listen to. Okay, thank you, Bridget, for your, for your time. Uh, this was a great interview. I wish you a lot of success, and I hope you come to Pelotas some next time. I hope so too, Igor. Thank you so much. Essa foi a entrevista da semana. Eu sou o Igor de Campos, repórter do Diário Popular.